Hey guys, I've got an oh 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 another uh, card fight Vanguard video. This time it is going to be well the final uh, deck uh, update for Nirvana and uh, Trickstar. This is going to be the uh, set thirteen deck for Nirvana Jiva. And as I said, the final one as we're getting a new character in the new year. Or, well, new main character in the new year. So let's just start. So for the ride deck, we're actually going to be using Trickstar as the starter. Now he's, of course, our main uh, guy to get out all of our um, Verena cards and all that. And unlike the usual starters, he does not let you draw if you go second, as he's not the starting vanguard. But he does have an effect, and that is this unit can't be chosen by your opponent's card effects. So we're essentially running him as the starter, so that can give us one more extra space in the main deck to run another card we want to use. So there we go. That's it for Trickstar. Uh, of course, we'll be using the Grade 1. Heart Pounding Blaze Mating Reno. Uh, when this is rode upon by Rayu, search your deck for a Trick Star and call it to a rear guard circle and then shuffle the deck. Pretty simple. And then, of course, there's Rayu. If she is rode upon by uh, Nirvana Jiva, you look at the top seven cards of your deck, choose up to one prayer dragon from among them, you reveal it and put it into your hand and then shuffle. So both get you pieces for the uh, uh, deck that you need. And then, of course, there's the main vanguard, uh, the Phoenix Dragon herself, Chakravarti Phoenix Dragon Nirvana Jiva. Uh, her effects are discard a card from your hand, choose up to one trick star and one prayer dragon in your drop and call them to rearguard circles. Pretty simple. And then its other effect is when this unit attacks, counterblast one, Choose one of your rear guards in the crossover dress state, and you restand it. Super simple effects for a vanguard, but that is because we focus on the rear guards in this deck. Of course, three more copies of Nirvana Jiva. And then on to the new uh, crossover dress unit. Blazing Holy Sword Equip Strawverina. Uh... For it to cross over dress, you need one trick star and two or more prayer dragons with different card names for it. And its effects are front row rear guard. During your turn, if this unit is in the cross over dress state, this unit gets an extra 10,000 power. And all of your vanguards with Nirvana in their card names get triple drive and an extra 10,000 power. Very nice. So that kind of brings up uh, Nirvana Jiva up to the power of Mahara Nirvana, which is very nice. And then its other effect is when this unit is in the cross overdress state is stood by your Vanguard's ability. If your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, you counterblast 1. You stand all of your Talisman and Prayer Dragon rearguards. If this unit has 5 or more or original dress materials, remove all markers from your opponent's rear guards and retire all of your opponent's rear guards. So that final little bit of text is essentially a counter to uh well the first deck we uh, went into for 13 which was uh Griffogilla Vartex. So that is supposed to be the ultimate counter card to him. But it's also just a great card in general. And the main overdress well, and crossover dress unit we want to go into. Um, some other ones, uh, some more, uh, these ones being one of's Brilliant Equip Brom Verena. Its materials are one Trick Star and one Prayer Dragon unit. Uh, during your turn, if this unit is in the crossover dress state, this unit gets an extra 10,000 power. And if your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, it gets another 10,000 power. Very nice. Um, auto on rear guard, uh, once per turn, when this unit attack hits a vanguard, if this unit is in the crossover dress state, you soul blast one. Choose one of your columns and retire all of your opponent's units in that column. Very nice. This actually gets around, uh, some resist effects, which is very cool. Uh, another one of flaring canning equip Bower Verena. 
Uh, this one was kind of taken out of the deck for a little bit, but now I think we can actually bring it back in. Um, its materials are just like uh, Braum and all the other crossover dress units, a trick star and a prayer dragon. Uh, if this unit is in the crossover dress state, use Soul Blast 2, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and you retire it. And then its main effect is when this unit is in the crossover dress state, attacks a vanguard, this unit gets an extra 2,000 power until the end of that battle for each of your opponent's open rear guards. Then if your opponent has one or less rear guards, you counterblast one until the end of that battle. This unit gets drive minus one, and it can perform, and this unit can perform drive checks. So essentially, you can uh, drive check another card if you use this effect. So that's pretty nice, as most rear guards can't do drive checks. That is it for that. Uh, another of the one ofs, jeweled sword equip Garo Verena. This was the first crossover dress unit we had. Uh, one trick star and a prayer dragon. If this unit is in the crossover dress state, it gets an extra 10,000 power for the battle that this unit attacked. When your opponent would call cards from their hand to the guardian circle, they must call two or more to guard this attack or this attacking unit. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Although we w don't run as many anymore, as there's actually a prayer dragon which gives that effect to any Verena monster. Uh, two of Mirror Reflection equip Mirror's Verena. Of course, its materials are a trick star and a prayer dragon. When this unit is placed on rear guard by cross overdressing, choose up to two of your Verenas in two cards with Verena in their card names from your drop and put them into this unit's original dress. So, for example, um, if we had these two in the drop, we can put them under Mirror's Verena. Uh, when this unit in the cross overdress state attacks, this unit gets an extra 10,000 power until the end of that battle. Then, put an original dress unit with Verena and its card name into the drop and perform one of the following. You draw a card or you counter charge one. This was a great card that came out in set 10 and it's still very good right now as it lets you counter uh, charge and draw more cards depending on what type of situation you're in. Uh, the final of the crossover dress units is Sturdy Wall Equip Vils Verena. Of course, its materials are Trick Star and a Prayer Dragon. When this unit is placed on rear guard by crossover dressing, choose a card from your drop with the crossover dress ability other than itself and put it into your hand. This unit in, is in the crossover dress state. This unit cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects, and it gets an extra 5,000 power and 10,000 shield, and this is active on your opponent's turn as well. Very nice. Uh, now on to the prayer dragons. We've got Blazing Heavenly... Uh, Render Equip Dragon Aparaja. When this unit is placed on Rearguard Circle, other than from the deck, you Soul Blast 1 and discard a card from hand. Search your deck for up to 1 Prayer Dragon. Call it to a Rearguard Circle. And then shuffle the deck. When this card becomes an original dress, you draw a card. And also choose one of this opponent's outer dress units. And until the end of your opponent's turn next turn, this card cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects. This is arguably one of the best ones to have as an original dress, as it gives all of your crossover dress units the ability of Vils Verena to not be, uh, uh, for you not to choose them with card effects. So yeah, that's pretty good. And it also draws you a card when you crossover dress to help uh, compensate for turning those two cards into one overdress unit. Uh, another one is Blazingly Heavenly Spear Equip Dragon, a uh, Spearhead Equip Dragon Nandika. We've got two of this one as well. When this card becomes an original dress, you still blast one, choose one of this card's outer dress units, and it gets this effect. The effect it gets is during the battle that this unit attacked when your opponent would call Cards from their hand of the Guardian Circle, they must call two or more. Essentially, the same effect as this one, as Garo Verena. So that is it for that one. Uh, on to this one. A blazingly Heavenly Slash Equip Dragon Drahas. When it is placed on rearguard, if you have a Vanguard with Nirvana its card name, you can plus one, re uh, retire another rearguard search your deck or drop 
for up to a total of two cards with Blazingly Heavenly in their different card names. And you call them to be regarded as rest. And if you search the deck, you shuffle it. If you retired a rear guard in the crossover dress state for this card, you draw one card. Very nice as it helps you get more prayer dragons onto the field for Straw of the Arena. And he's actually the only prayer dragon that does not give you an effect when he's used in the crossover dress state. Um, Illuminate Equip Dragon, Grail Mirror. When this unit becomes an original dress, you still bless one. Look at the top seven cards of the deck. Choose up to two cards with Verena and their card names from among them. Reveal them. Choose up to choose up to one of the revealed cards put into your hand, and then discard the other, or discard the rest the rest of the revealed cards. Shuffle your deck. Okay, so it's the rest of the revealed cards. So yeah, the other Verena card you revealed. There we go. That is it for him. Um, On to some one-offs for the Prayer Dragons. Crushing Equip Dragon, Cartagard. Uh, when this unit becomes an original dress, if you have no cards in your soul, you soul charge too. Very nice. Uh, On to the final uh, Prayer Dragon. All of this unit's outer dress gets the effects of when this unit attacks, choose one of your opponent's vanguards. And the and this unit gets an extra 2,000 power until the end of battle for each grade on that unit. Pretty good, as it actually helps against uh, Griffogilla Vartex and all that. And it's just a blazingly heavenly name as well. Of course, we've got the Perfect Guards, along with the Elementara Sanctitude, along with the three regular Perfect Guards. Three more copies of Trickstar in the main. And the non-effect crits. The effect crits. The non-effect heals. The effect draws. We want to play the draws of we as we've as we want to get as many pieces that we need for our cards as possible. And then, of course, arguably the best over-trigger in the game, the Dragon Empire over-trigger. And uh, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we have got one more video for uh, set 13 coming out, and that is going to be on the Grade 4 Dradjul deck, which is going to be very fun, as it is currently the best deck right now. I hope you enjoyed this one.